What do the words saffron, cotton, and gazelle have in common? Well, they all originate from the Arabic language. Zafaran. Qutun. Ghazal. It turns out there are actually dozens of terms from Arabic which have made their way into the English dictionary. Today we're going to look at the fascinating history of five Arabic loan words in English. So let's get started with algebra. This branch of mathematics gets its name from the Arabic al-jabr, whose root verb means to reunite or restore. Al-Jabr originally described the surgical repair of bone fractures, a process which was used as an analogy for the reduction of fractions, i.e. broken parts, to integers, i.e. whole numbers, in algebraic equations. That sounds really mathematical. The term algebra appeared in the title of a 9th century mathematical treatise by Persian scholar Al-Khwarizmi of Baghdad's famous House of Wisdom. Al-Khwarizmi is credited with introducing Arabic numerals to the West, and his surname also inspired the word algorithm. Next is Safari. It was British explorer Sir Richard Burton of the Royal Geographical Society who first introduced this term into English in 1859 when writing about his expeditions across East Africa. Safari is a Swahili word that originally hails from the Arabic safar, meaning travel or journey. Interestingly enough, nowadays in some Middle Eastern countries, safari is used to mean takeout in the context of ordering food at a restaurant. Safari wallahon. Safari wallahon. Now let's listen again. Safari wallahon. Wallahon. Swahili contains quite a number of Arabic loanwords due to the long history of Islam in the region of Africa where it is spoken. For example, Swahili, the name of the language itself, comes from the Arabic sawahil, or coastal dwellers. Surf's up, dude. If you live in South or Southeast Asia, then you'll know all about the heavy rains that are brought by the monsoon a word which comes from the Arabic mosin. This term was used by medieval Arab traders to describe that annual season of favorable winds that made possible their voyages to the East Indies. Eventually, Portuguese sailors in the Indian Ocean picked up this word, turning it into monson, which sounds closer to the English equivalent. Mosin in Arabic originally referred not only to the monsoon season specifically, but to any event that came around every year, such as a festival. Yeah, party. This semantic connection between time and weather can also be seen in other languages, like Spanish, where tiempo carries both meanings. I guess it's because the change of seasons is so tied to how we as human beings have historically kept track of time. Fourth on the list is genie. Our story begins when French translators of 1001 Nights, that famous collection of Middle Eastern folk tales, came across the Arabic term jinni. They decided to translate it into French as genie because of how similar it sounded to jinni, although the resemblance was purely coincidental. The French genie actually comes from the Latin genius a kind of guardian spirit. I will guard you. However, it's the Arabic meaning behind genie that we recognize most readily today. Jinn dates back to pre-Islamic times and refers to unseen spirits or demons. Its root verb, janna, means to cover or hide, and is also the source for janin, embryo, and janna, heaven both of which are things that are hidden from human vision. Well, I'll be darned. Last but not least, alcohol. 
Strangely enough, the name for this volatile liquid can be traced back to the Arabic al-kuhl, that fine mascara powder used since ancient Egyptian times to darken the eyelids. The process of manufacturing this cosmetic involved extraction or distillation of a metallic mineral. As Europeans became familiar with al-kuhl in medieval Andalusia, where it was also used for medical purposes, they adopted the term alcohol. I see what you did there. Over time, alcohol came to refer to any essence obtained by distillation, such as liquor. So how do you say alcohol in modern Arabic? Al-kuhul. The word was re-borrowed back into its mother language, this time with a long second vowel. Oh. In this video, you may have noticed two other Arabic loanwords in addition to alcohol, which begin with A-L, algebra, and algorithm. This al sound means the, the definite article in Arabic. Some other words that contain this al sound include alchemy, alchemia, albatross, al -ghattas. Alfalfa, Alfasfasa. So there you have it. Even if you don't speak Arabic yet, you already know some cool choice words and basic grammar. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.